As the crypto market continues to grow, XRP coin managed to increase greatly. Its prices managed to increase by more than 7% in the last seven days alone. In fact, even the psychological price of 40 cents was broken higher. In the upcoming months and years, many investors anticipate significant rises. Can XRP reach $5 in 2023? What are some logical forecasts for XRP and what is going on with Ripple and the SEC? Let's analyze, without hype. Welcome to XRP Insider, we provide the latest news of XRP Ripple. To stay updated with exciting news please do like share and subscribe to our channel. To know more please watch till the end. Ripple is a real-time gross settlement system, currency exchange and remittance network created by Ripple Labs Inc., a US-based technology company. The blockchain is built upon a distributed open-source protocol and supports tokens representing fiat currency, cryptocurrency, commodities, or other units of value such as frequent flyer miles or mobile minutes. Ripple purports to enable secure, instantly and nearly free global financial transactions of any size with no chargebacks. XRP is the native cryptocurrency of the Ripple network. It is used to facilitate transactions on the network and is also used as a form of digital asset for trading on various cryptocurrency exchanges. Ripple created 100 billion XRP at the start, and no more can be created, of which around 40% is held by the company, with the rest in circulation. XRP can be used to facilitate cross-border transactions between different currencies, and it is also used as a form of digital asset for trading on various cryptocurrency exchanges. XRP cannot be mined like Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies that use a proof-of-work consensus mechanism. Instead, all of the XRP that will ever exist were created at the time of Ripple's launch. Ripple Labs, the company behind Ripple, holds a large percentage of the total XRP supply and releases it gradually into circulation through various means. While XRP cannot be mined, it can be obtained through purchasing it on a cryptocurrency exchange, receiving it as a form of payment, or participating in certain Ripple-related promotions or airdrops. Ripple Labs Inc. was sued by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, in December 2020 on the grounds that it had offered $1.3 billion in XRP as unregistered securities. Additionally, the SEC claimed that Ripple's senior executives had gained directly from the sales of XRP. The SEC's accusations have been refuted by Ripple, which maintains that XRP is a currency, not a security. The business has also claimed that the SEC's choice to sue is bad for the whole cryptocurrency sector. A conclusion has not yet been made on the matter, which is still pending. Since XRP managed to break the 40 cents mark and is currently well above it, we expect a further increase in prices. If the crypto market maintains its stance and everything else remains constant, the targets for XRP are as follows. 60 cents. 88 cents. 95 cents. Reaching the price of $5 from the current price of 40 cents means that XRP needs to make AX10 in less than a year. This is not feasible as XRP's market cap would in turn become around $264 billion, around double Ethereum's current valuation. The $1 price for XRP seems like a much more feasible target for XRP in 2023. However, this should happen somewhere towards Q4 of 2023. For this to become a reality, crypto prices should continue to steadily increase, and the lawsuit of Ripple with the SEC starts to show actual positivity on paper. Although the legal dispute between the US Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, and cryptocurrency firm Ripple has continued for a third year, a resolution may be close at hand. Following the submission of both parties' final documents on the XRP lawsuit, Ripple and the SEC, together with other interested parties, have since showcased summary briefings that are likely to influence the final outcome of the case. However, before the final briefings, defense counsel James Fillon disclosed that the United States-based crypto firm had submitted a motion in opposition to a filing that was made by investment banker declarant trying to conceal certain facts from being made public. The data contains, among other things, his name, job title, and company name. The declarant claims he should be shielded from liability since he voluntarily filed the declaration in support of the SEC's summary judgment motion. According to latest reports, the investment banker declarant, IBD, has filed a response to Ripple's opposition to the motion. 
The official release states that none of the defendant's reasons are strong enough to outweigh the substantial privacy and safety concerns of investment banker declarant in allowing the specifically targeted redactions. First and foremost, the defendant's principal defense that IBD, an employee of an SEC-regulated entity, provided his declaration to the SEC voluntarily provides no legitimate justification for refusing leave to redact. The IBD, who was employed by a broker-dealer that is registered with the SEC, was unable to refuse a request for a declaration from the SEC, which serves as his company's main regulatory body. The SEC's other option, had investment banker declarant declined to give a statement, was to compel his testimony to verify the document in question. It goes without saying that there cannot be a truly voluntary decision when a witness's two options are to make a declaration or testify. Even if there were, voluntariness is not taken into account when analyzing redactions, and the defendants provide no evidence to the contrary. If anything, historical precedent clearly shows that where there are compelling grounds to redact, especially when it comes to the safety and privacy of other individuals involved in the dispute, those concerns take precedence over all other factors. Furthermore, the report states, the court has already acknowledged that the risks to witnesses, in this case, are significant to warrant the redaction of any identifying information that may have been included in the documents. As a publicly named witness in this high-profile matter, investment banker declarant and his co-workers would face similar risks. In conclusion, the firm representing the IBD in the ongoing SEC v. Ripple case alleged that the defendants' arguments if followed to their logical conclusion would make any future government inquiries more difficult. The participation of individuals who may desire or need to maintain their anonymity is extremely important to investigators. If that confidentiality cannot be assured, cooperation will not be forthcoming. With all the hype and discussion surrounding the XRP lawsuit, the case development is anticipated to have a substantial effect on the price of XRP, which has received some bullish signals as a result of the situation. As things stand, the price of XRP token is currently exchanging hands at 41 cents. This represents a decrease of 2.47% on the day, in contrast to a gain of 6.11% during the week as per CoinGate's crypto market tracker. XRP is facing a prolonged consolidation phase, a trading pattern that offers possible hints regarding the token's subsequent price trajectory. Indeed, the value of XRP has stagnated in the same region for several months, showing no signs of a possible breakout. This development contrasts the general market, as most altcoins have taken advantage of the 2023 rally to record price breakouts. In particular, between late October 2022 and January 25, the value of XRP has mainly traded in the range of 40 cents and 46 cents. However, the token has momentarily breached key support and resistance levels during the period while sustaining a high trading volume. Although the price movement can be viewed as a positive sign as it suggests that the coin's price is not experiencing the volatility associated with the market, it can also be interpreted differently. A response to Ripple Lab's opposition to a motion submitted by an unnamed employee of an SEC-regulated entity, who is seeking redaction of personal information from their declaration, was filed earlier this Wednesday. The response outlines why it is important that investment banker declarants' personal information be shielded from public view as it increases the likelihood of them or their colleagues facing threats from those who follow the high-profile case. The investment banker claims that witnesses would likely resist cooperation with investigations if the release of such information was to be expected in future cases. The Ripple Lab opposes this argument primarily claiming voluntariness as the basis for denying redaction rights, experienced defense counsels have failed to back up their claim with any judicial precedent so far. Hence, considering all factors involved, investment banker declarant has asked Judge Annalisa Torres to grant their motion for shielding their personal information from public view entirely. For ensuring crucial investigatory collaboration by people involved in such cases, who may seek anonymity due to their private details being at risk of exposure, granting this request might just be essential in setting a better legal precedent going forward. We would like to make it clear that this is not a platform designed expressly to offer financial advice, and we are not requesting that you invest in any particular business. This is just a route used to deliver instructional material to your door. See you again soon on XRP Insider, the leading source for cryptocurrency news.